All right. So, what is your name? So, my name is Pooja Kumari Singh. Pooja Kumari Singh. All right. So, Pooja, can you just give a little bit of introduction? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Pooja Singh. Basically, I belong to Rajiv Jhakan, and now I am staying in Hyderabad. Um, my um, I had completed my MCA from Dr. Shama Prashant Mukherjee, and my BSc IT completed from Raji College. Uh, now I'm taking. Uh, uh, now comes to my uh, short term goal. My short term goal is uh, I want to get a job in uh, IT sector, and my long term goal is I grow with I grow with organization, and I have basic knowledge on C, C++, Core Java, uh, basic knowledge on Advanced Java also. Also. Okay. Alright, good. So, any achievements which you did in your college? So, any workshops or any seminars have you attended? Yes, sir. Uh, I take uh, one seminar uh, in with my junior uh, on topic HTML classes, and okay. it's very good. So, good, okay. So, you took one workshop? Yes. On HTML for your juniors, yes. so that's a very good achievement. Good, keep it up. So you're comfortable with HTML also? Yes, sir. All right, very good. So in Code Java, so mm -hmm. how much do you want to give rating? Out of ten? Seven. Seven. Okay. Why not uh, ten out of ten? What is the three? Sir, everyone is not perfect. Okay. So every time I learn too much, mm -hmm. so it's very not perfect. Okay. Okay. Good. No problem. Okay, so let me just ask few questions. Okay, and one more thing. So in your final sem, which project you did? Academic project? Yes, sir. In my final semester, I have done uh, one quarter. Uh, one quarter. Uh, it, its topic is called uh, National Helmet for Senior Citizen. In this quarter, uh, we. Uh, this quarter. Uh, we cre uh, we receive our call uh, to senior citizen and we solve our, uh, we solve problem in to senior citizen. They uh, they want to um, support emotion. They want emotional support and they 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 ask some information and we give some guidance. This is called. So for this project, what technologies are used? Uh, so in front end, I use the uh, HTML CSS. Uh, JavaScript and in backend data uh, in backend PHP and database. Database which database is? Uh, SQL. SQL and MySQL or Oracle? Uh, MySQL. MySQL. Okay, good. So you know SQL also? Yes. Sir. All right, good. So total, how many team members were there in the project? Sir, uh, we have four. Uh, we have two team members. Uh, I create only front pages and. Uh, uh, other members create backend pages. Okay, alright. So your role was a developer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. So total how much duration it took to complete the project? One month. One month? Yes, sir. Okay, good. And what challenges you faced in the project? Uh, sir, in backend I don't have too much knowledge. So that, that time I faced too much problem. In front end I have too much knowledge. So I make only front end pages. Okay. So how did you overcome that problem? So if you don't know back end, you know only front end. How did you resolve the problems, errors? How did you fix? Sir, in my team, uh, we have two members. Uh, so other member create uh, back end pages. Okay. And uh, uh, I support little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like did you learn the back end thing? Then you okay. So there it was taking time. Yes. Sir. Nothing good. All right. Okay, fine. So, <clears throat> in SQL, what are the things that you know? So, in SQL, uh, I know SQL means a structured query language. Um, uh, we can create our table, insert our table, delete, uh, truncate, drop. Uh, so, so, what is the difference between delete, drop, and truncate? Sir, delete means uh, if we are delete our one row, we can use delete, and truncate if we are delete our entire. Uh, if we are delete our without without table only we delete our structure we uh, use truncate and drop mm, drop uh, we can use our entire table uh, we can delete our entire table then then we can use drop so if we drop a table structure will be there structure will be deleted also sir so in drop uh, structure is not there okay truncate structure is there All right. 
Okay. Okay. So let's discuss some questions on Code Java. So what is a compiler? What it will do? Sir, compiler is high level. Uh, compiler is uh, they can uh, uh, convert high level to machine code. High level to machine code or uh, byte code. Uh, sir, sorry, byte code. Byte code. Yes. Okay, so what? Uh, which file it will create after the machine? Dot byte class file. Dot class file. Okay, and what interpreter will do? Sir, interpreter. We can in interpreter we can uh, uh, check our program. Um, check our program in one time. One time. Uh, it would line by line. Okay. So what JVM will do? Uh, JVM is a Java virtual machine. Means that uh, JVM is a Java virtual machine is a sir JVM is a uh, our sir if we are um, if we are make if we are uh, make a program and then we uh, save our program dot class file and dot class file generate uh, source code and if we are uh, run our program run run our program through JVM. What JVM will do? JVM uh, through JVM we can uh, we can. Uh, run our program other machine. Other machine. Okay. So who will convert bytecode into machine code? Sir, JVM. JVM. Okay. So when it converts, what uh, file it will create? JVM. Dot class file. JVM. Uh, no, sir. Uh, dot obj. Dot obj. Okay. So can you see that file? Object file. Dot obj. Uh, sir, we can not understand. We cannot understand, but can we see that file on our laptops no, and systems? No, Why is it so? Sir, only we can see our program dot class file and uh, uh, sir, if we have save our program, so uh, we see two two programming uh, two two pro, two file on one dot uh, dot class file and one dot Java file. Okay, so why not dot object file? Sir, we don't uh, see dot object file. Why? Uh, uh, through Xavier. What JVM will do? It will delete that file. Uh, no, sir. Delete not, but save. But we we don't see. All right. Okay. Good. <clears throat> so we tell Java is a platform independent language, right? What is the meaning of that? So Java is platform independent. If we save our program in one system, in one Windows, okay, one operating system, we can uh, run our program in other machine. Other machine. Yes, sir. So, Do, on through dot class file. Dot JVM. Okay. Suppose on my laptop I have Windows operating system. Yes, sir. So, so can I take the byte file to other machine on uh, Unix operating system? Can I execute yes, this sir. dot class file byte yes, file? Yes, sir. Okay. How is it possible? Can you tell what is the reason behind this? Uh, yes, sir. A dot class file. Uh, if we save our program. Uh, uh, two files are generated, one dot class file and one uh, dot uh, java file. And through dot class file, we uh, run our program in other machine. So we can uh, see and we can run our program in other machine. Okay. Right. So why we call Java as an object oriented language? So Java is a um, pure object oriented programming language. Java is support uh, object um, class, encapsulation, uh, polymorphism, inheritance and uh, So are you saying Java is a pure object oriented language? Yes sir. So 100% object oriented? Yes sir. Through uh, primitive database. So can you say 100% object oriented or not? Yes sir, 100% uh, object oriented. But by using primitive data types, we don't use any objects. Then how sir, can you say through uh, wrapper class. Through wrapper class, so yes. you will say that it is a hundred percent object. Okay. All right. <coughs> so why is Java portable? Sir, Java is portable uh, uh, because if if we are compiled or uh, if we are if we are save our program through dot class file. And uh, uh, we uh, we uh, if we are run uh, our program other machine, then we can run easily. That's why Java is portable. Okay. 
So you want to say the byte files we can carry from one device to other device and execute them. All right. So yeah, other features can you tell about Java? You know? Yes, Java is portable. Java is secure. Uh, Why is it secure? Yes, sir. Java is not support the pointer because the pointer is old other other memory address. And uh, in Java, we don't uh, we uh, we don't use the pointer. That's why uh, our Java is uh, Java is a secure language. So can you tell the differences between uh, C and C plus plus? Uh, C is developed by Dennis Rich at uh, um, AT and T Bell Laboratory, and in 1973, and C C++ is developed by uh, present startups in uh, in 1973, and C is uh, C is not support encapsulation multi uh, encapsulation polymorphism class object, but C++ support uh, um, uh, class object multi uh, multi threading. Uh, polymorphism encapsulation C support uh, C, uh, C does not, C support uh, C support pointer C plus plus also support pointer but uh, in in C uh, in C uh, C and C plus plus both are both syntax are same. So is there any data security by using C language? No. So in C language, is it possible to reuse the same code again for execution? No. Okay. So, <clears throat> so, can you tell actually few drawbacks which are there in C language? Sir, uh, C, uh, C, uh, C is basically uh, don't support in OOPS concept, object oriented programming language, and C, uh, C uh, C is not supported uh, uh, multi threading. That this is very big drawback of C. Okay, all right. But we still are using C and C plus plus, right? In the market, we still have demand for C language and C plus plus, right? Mm -hmm. So if there are drawbacks, then why we need C language? What is the use of that? Uh, sir, uh, because uh, C is a mother language uh, of all programming language. And uh, uh, now, time some places are using C plus plus, uh, C and C plus plus. Okay, so why we are using? What kind of projects we develop yes, with C and C plus plus? Uh, uh, through C, we develop uh, uh, like a standalone application. Like, can you give any examples? Uh, yes, sir. E-commerce web application. E-commerce. Web application is standalone. No, no sir. Sir, e-commerce. E-commerce. Yes. Okay. So then, with Java, what kind of applications we develop? Sir, Java is all support. Uh, is through Java, we can develop uh, uh, standalone application um, like, uh, for example, uh, uh, e-commerce and uh, mobile app. No. With Java, we cannot develop mobile, mobile apps. application. No, we sir. cannot. Are you sure? Uh, sir, we can develop. We can develop. Okay. But standalone application. What about web applications? Uh, web application uh, J2EE. Okay. Enterprises Edition. Okay. So what is J2SC? J2SC Java Standard Edition. Okay. And J2ME? Java Micro Edition. Uh, through Java Micro Edition, we can develop a uh, mobile application. Okay. What is this J2 number 2? What is the 2? Sir, 2 is the version. Uh, means 1.2 version. After 1.8 version, we don't uh, we don't say one uh, J2EE. Now time we say JEE. -E after 1.8 version. And what is the latest version which we have? Java 19. Java 19. Okay. And which version are you using for developing Java programs? 1.8. 1.8. Why? Because 1.8 is very popular and uh, it's very comfortable, and I, I can do it. Okay, so, alright. 
Okay, good Pooja. So, very nice. So, I just want to give feedback also. Okay, so we at SP Global Solution, so we generally conduct these mock interviews to increase the confidence level of the students so that when you go for the real interview, so you can attend, you with, uh, attend the interview with confidence. Okay. Okay, good. I want to give feedback. So your communication is good. So the theory knowledge which you have on Java and C, C++, it is also good. But you are getting a little bit confused. Okay, so because of a little bit tension, I think. Okay, so you know the concept, but little bit getting confused here and there. Okay, so you attend these kind of more mock interviews, that confidence, that confusion will go automatically. Okay, so because of little bit tension, so the tension will go automatically. All so that they will not be any confusion. Okay, all the best for you then. Thank you. Thank you.